Hi everyone, I'm Ryan with Romeo Music and you're watching our series on Live Audio 101. For the first part of this series, we're simply going to be taking a look at the function and application of the actual pieces of your sound system. So what better place to start than the source? Let's talk microphones. But before we talk about microphones, we have to briefly cover sound. So sound, what is it? Sound, for our purposes, is the rapid compression and expansion of air. These rapid compressions and expansions cause our eardrums to vibrate, which our brain then interprets as sound. A microphone is effectively a mechanical ear, but instead of sending a signal through a nervous system, it sends an electrical signal to a mixer. Generally speaking, a microphone will do this one of two ways. A dynamic microphone will have a diaphragm, or a mechanical eardrum, that's attached to a copper coil that is then wrapped around a magnet. As the diaphragm is moved by sound's vibrations, the copper coil will shift through the magnet's field, causing an electric signal to be sent to the mixer. The other main family of microphones are condensers. A condenser microphone operates by mounting a foil or filament diaphragm close to a backing plate and connecting them both to a closed active circuit. With a condenser microphone, power from a battery or phantom power are sent through this circuit. When sound enters a condenser mic, the diaphragm will vibrate in relation to the backing plate. This causes an electromagnetic shift that disrupts the completed circuit and causes a similar electrical signal to that of the dynamic microphone. This construction allows the diaphragm to be a much lighter material, which also allows it to be a significantly more sensitive of microphone. But with that sensitivity also comes greater fragility. If you're wanting something that's going to travel well and deal with punishment, the dynamic microphone is the way to go. If you're capturing more delicate sounds or need something for more of a recording application, a condenser is probably going to be a better choice for that scenario. The current industry standard bearer for dynamic microphones are the Shure SM58 and SM57. These microphones are known for being nearly indestructible while providing an extremely consistent fidelity. The SM57 is ideal for miking instruments, and the SM58 with its integrated pop filter is best for voices. Condenser microphones come in a couple different varieties as well. Large diaphragm condensers, like this AT2035 from Audio-Technica, are ideal for studio and recording situations as they're extremely sensitive but offer a pre-EQ'd sound. However, their lack of side rejection make them a little bit susceptible to environment noise and very susceptible to wind. Small diaphragm microphones like this NT5 from Rode are extremely sensitive over a wide dynamic and pitch range. However, in some recording situations, they can introduce some signal noise into your mix. Shotgun microphones like this NTG2 from Rode offer a highly directional version of a small diaphragm condenser. This is what makes them specifically useful in video production, as you can focus in on a single subject without forcing them to wear a microphone. Shotgun microphones are also gaining popularity in marching band, as they enable the sound system to capture small ensembles and soloists while being mounted on the sideline. Ribbon microphones generally offer an extremely warm sound collection making them ideal for recording ensembles and concerts. However, the nature of their construction makes them extremely fragile. And boundary mics are a highly specialized version of a condenser that's intended to pick up a wide field of sound while being mounted inconspicuously. In short, dynamic microphones tend to be rugged workhorses that reliably capture consistent sound, although they can be susceptible to low frequency rumble and less sensitive to high-pitched sounds. Condenser microphones, on the other hand, offer much greater sensitivity on both the frequency and dynamic spectrum, while sacrificing a bit in durability and require either an inline battery or a 48-volt phantom power source. If you have any other questions about microphones or any other form of music technology device, make sure to contact us at 1-800-466-1773. Or you can always email us at info at romeomusic.net. And of course, follow us on Facebook and click subscribe in the description to make sure that you stay current with the latest in music technology. I hope you drop by next week as we talk about the next stop in our audio signal chain, the mixer. I'm Ryan, and this is Romeo Music, your source for educational music and performing arts technology.